what's good everybody welcome back to the mono for two video as you all know season three reloaded launched today and there's a brand new raid we're gonna go ahead and make a little guide i'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet but i'll be honest this is the longest raid we've gotten so far so it's kind of crazy a little bit difficult but nothing y'all can't complete you know what i'm saying if you haven't already drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and hop in let's go ahead and uh beat this raid man all right everybody we're gonna go ahead and get through this raid i'm gonna help you guys out and we're gonna try to keep this as short and sweet as possible Possible, but i'll be honest it's the longest raid we've gotten so far it took us like an hour and a half to actually complete it and i promise it, it's not gonna be as easy your first time around so as you get to the end of the first hallway there's going to be a button and an elevator basically you'll wait for the elevator to rise all the way to the top you'll hit the button and then jump down the elevator and go down a couple of platforms as you go down there's going to be soldiers trying to shoot you as you can see right here i almost died of these soldiers but this is the room you're gonna want to go into you can jump down the elevator will stop outside so don't even worry about that basically you're gonna go inside of this room go all the way through the room and at the end of the little corridor there's going to be a lever you want to pull the lever to actually turn the power on to the elevator i'll go ahead and fast forward here for you guys to where we actually find the lever once you go up this little staircase there's a lever at the very end on top of this catwalk and then immediately run back and make sure you catch the elevator before it passes you as you guys can see the elevator is moving back down so just make sure you hop back on and again as you go down the court and again as you go down the silo there's going to be soldiers shooting at you so just make sure your teammates are ready for that the next time the elevator stops you want to go to the room behind you the one that doesn't have any ramps or anything like that and as you guys can see on that little tool table Table on the, the little table right there there is a buzzsaw that you can actually grab and use to cut through different doors on the other side also there's these valves right here and i think this is for the maps easter egg but i don't really know how to do that right now we're gonna have to figure that out later you know what i'm saying basically you're gonna go back through to the other side use the buzzsaw to actually cut through the door it's just like a few second animation but there are soldiers trying to shoot you and kill you while you're doing this so just make sure you and your teammates are ready make sure your teammates are you know watching your back all you got to do is cut through both doors and after the second door there's going to be another power lever on the wall it actually powers the generator that's in this room but it's a little strange the elevator is a little bit above you right here so you want to make sure you pull this lever and then book it all the way back outside that's actually why there's these like little ramps and stuff to your left as you guys can see the uh, elevator kind of left us right here but it's the reason there's all these things beside you to climb down and catch the elevator right here I don't think we actually made it to the elevator in time. Yeah, we ended up dying, which is a little awkward to put in the guide. And finally, all you got to do, though, is run back outside, use the ramp, hop back on the elevator, and then you'll actually ride it all the way back to the bottom uh, it's gonna take you all the way down again gonna be soldiers spawning in and trying to kill you and stuff like that so just make sure you don't die as you guys can see I, I ended up dying again probably not the best thing to put in these guides but y'all get what i'm saying that's the entire first silo encounter is pretty easy after you open the doors at the bottom of the silo it's going to be this little tunnel with a bunch of trip wires and stuff like that uh, you don't actually have to shoot these wires but it does help out a little bit obviously there is a path to just walk through the tunnel and it's pretty simple so after you make it through the tunnel you're going to end up in this room where you have to actually open these doors you can push this like yellow cart and this will actually come up a little bit later on in the raid so make sure you remember like how to do this but you want to open the door have your teammate hold the door open and push the yellow cart over to this little wall you'll then climb up and over the wall and you'll be in this room and this is another like checkpoint slash armory room so you can change out your loadout uh, grab new weapons get more ammo plates all that good stuff i'll be honest be ready for this part okay after you leave the armory there's this giant dark room with soldiers everywhere basically you want to stick along the left side of the wall i'll go ahead and show you when we actually like successfully made it it took us a couple times but you want to stick along the left side of the wall so we found the most success make your way through the room slowly don't rush because the more you rush the more soldiers that are going to spawn in so just kind of walk take your time with your teammates watch each other's backs and eventually you want to make it to the very back of the room where you then turn on the power over to my left where gg is it's actually a little power level right there it turns on all the lights and stuff in the room and activates the code now i'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here just so i can explain this there's this code on the screen okay 
around the room, all around the room, literally starting to your right, from where I'm looking right here, like literally all around this room, there is these little consoles, and next to the console is a number, which you guys will see in a bit. Pretty much, you're going to click each number in order as the code shows on the screen. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The water, the, the ground, actually electrocutes you. So you can't really, I mean, you can run in the water, but you take a lot of damage. So pretty much how we did it, we dedicated certain parts of the room to certain people in the game. So GG had like 9, 8, and 7, which is straight ahead of where I'm looking right now. As you guys can see, to my left, there's 0, 1, 2. It goes from 0. Zero, 1, 2, it goes like all the way around the room. So somebody watch 0, 1, 2, somebody watch 3, 4, 5, 6, and then somebody watch 7, 8, and 9. And if you correlate and coordinate everything exactly how it needs to be, you should be able to enter in this code with no issues. Again, as you hit each number, there's going to be a little bit of a timer. And all you got to do is have you and your team enter in the code as it shows on the screen. So basically what we did is we called out a number. We made sure the next person was at that number before we hit the code. And basically, it meant it's pretty easy, but making sure you coordinate a strategy that has all your teammates hitting the numbers not only in the right order but in time before it all like turns off it's a little bit difficult but that's basically it for this encounter uh, you're going to do that and then move back to the other side of the room where you actually turned on the power i'll be honest it took us a little bit but we finally got it and then you override the security open the door and you're on to the next part searching for hadir this part is pretty easy you just want to move through these rooms uh, there's not really any like mechanics for the raid you have to do but there's a few juggernauts a lot of dudes or riot shields trying to kill you so just make sure you're ready for that you know what i'm saying and eventually you're going to get in this like little tunnel maze type of thing it's pretty easy you want one guy to be at this button i'll show you guys here in a bit and then there's like these pipes you have to prone through you have to lay and go through uh, again i'll show you guys but have two people hit the buttons and then you want to move the box through the room through the little I'll show you guys right here through this little door and once you actually and once you move the box through the door you can climb up on this little platform make sure you go all the way to the top there's going to be like a little bit of fire coming out of a pipe just go past it i mean it's a little bit of a fast timer but i promise if you go fast enough it won't be that bad after you make it past the fire there's going to be this room with a whole bunch of c4 and like these bookshelves just make sure you jump across the top of the shelves if you go to the bottom you can survive but there's a chance you're going to hit one of the trip wires and it will kill everybody in the room so just make sure you don't go to the bottom after you go through that room there's going to be this giant like missile silo room you might recognize this from the very first raid but again you'll use the yellow box jump into this like hole in the wall and then you got these two pipes and a button in the middle pretty much you have two people on each pipe on the sides and the one guy in the middle as you rotate the pipes the lights will turn green on the console and once you have both lights green you can select the button and move on to the next step the next step again involves pipes and a console as you guys can see where i am there's actually one pipe again you gotta move the yellow box over to actually reach it but where infinity is is actually where the console is and then on the other side of the room directly to my right there's going to be another pipe that you actually have to turn i'm actually running over there right now and i'll show you guys but it's under what it's actually underwater so you want to make sure whoever's on this pipe knows that the uh little bar on the left side you guys will see it when i went under just don't drown obviously and again you want to rotate both of the pipes until the lights turn green the room will fill the room will fill with even more water and this will allow you to actually climb up the crane in the middle of the map so after you do the pipes there's going to be another control in the main console where infinity was you want to control the crane while you have a teammate on top of the crane and you'll move your teammate and you'll move your teammate on top of the crane all the way to the left once your teammate jumps into this room there's going to be these like uh breach charges basically just some c4 you want to make sure you grab those because that's actually how you move on to the next step of the part and after you grab those you just make sure the guy controlling the crane moves you over just a little bit you'll plant the charges on this little catwalk and then 
that's pretty much it after it explodes you climb up to the top and this is where things get interesting baby once you're up here it's going to be another saw I'm going to grab it right now but one person grabs the saw two people watches their back and this is the end of the raid everybody pretty much you have one person saw these doors as they're sawing the doors there's gonna be juggernauts riot shield dudes a whole lot of stuff going on but all you gotta do is kill them that's it you just gotta make sure you guys survive we died on this probably 10 different times it was insane there's just so many people like like there's so many ads spawn in everywhere juggernauts riot shield dudes literally so many things to kill but as you guys can see eventually we made it through and once you make it past this point everybody regroups at the final room and that's it man you've done the brand new raid i didn't really get a chance to explore the end i don't want to spoil anything so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and real quick before we get out of here if you haven't already by the way drop a like subscribe to the channel if this guide helped you guys out i just want to check out the brand new free reward so if you don't know the brand new reward you get for completing the raid on normal difficulty is the alex operator there's no crazy skins or anything like that but it's pretty cool you unlock alex to use in warzone dmz and modern for two multiplayer and that's basically it man as you guys can see there are other rewards there's a brand new camo for completing on veteran there's a classified easter egg camo which we're about to hop in game right now and figure that out but it's pretty much gonna do it if you guys enjoyed drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and see you guys soon for the model for two video man